All right, we have, uh, we got a lot of show to do tonight. We have so much show. I've already wasted some time. But I want to do something, uh, I want to talk about something that's kind of important. Uh, a lot of TV actors and movie stars come on the show, obviously. And, um, and a lot of them happen to live in Los Angeles, because they're in that business. And during the commercial breaks, they're always telling me how great it is out there in L.A. They say the beaches, the mountains, the great weather, it's perfect. Well, folks, we tape here in New York. And I happen to think this is the greatest city in the world, okay? Which, so that begs the question, that begs the question, who's right? Which is the better city? Well, of course, this is an age-old debate, and tonight we're going to renew it with a side-by-side -side comparison of the two cities to determine which is better. Finally settle this thing in a little piece we're going to call New York versus L.A. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's, uh, we're going to go through a couple of these and see uh, who comes out the winner. Of course, New York is densely populated. L.A. has a dense population. <laughs> so uh, New York wins that one right there. New York wins. Los Angeles has the O.C. New York has the F.U. So uh, <laughs> L.A. wins that one. Afraid. L.A. has Forest Lawn Cemetery. New York has the East River. So, uh, New York wins that one right there. That's an actual photo I took today on my way to work. <laughs> I know that guy. Uh, New York has the green lady. L.A. has the pink hippo. So, uh, New York wins that one. Your booing won't stop me. That guy has to pay. Uh, I don't know why, but I've just suddenly decided he has to pay. L.A. has a thriving gay porn industry. New York has Broadway, so that's a tie. <laughs> Thank you both of them. Same thing. New York has a monument to immigration on Ellis Island. L.A. has a monument to immigration on its pitching staff. So uh, <laughs> L.A. wins that one right there. Uh, judgmental crowd tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, New York is the city that never sleeps. L.A. is the city that never sleeps with someone who can't help their career. <laughs> so, I think New York wins that one. L.A. has enterprising kids who sell maps to Star's homes. New York has enterprising kids who sell fudge to Star Jones. So... <laughs> For a judgmental crowd, they got behind that one. <laughs> well, I... Ha, ha, ha. New York produces 13,000 tons of garbage every day. L.A. produces one episode of Hollywood Squares every day. So, <laughs> New York wins that one. Those guys have to pay. <laughs> they just do. Everyone has to pay. New York has the bizarre and fascinating animals of the Bronx Zoo, the Brooklyn Aquarium, and the Museum of Natural History. L.A. has Michael Jackson, Robert Blake, and Nick Nolte. So, New York wins that one. New York has Late Night with Conan O'Brien. L.A. Thank you. Thank you, applause sign. And uh, L.A. has Judge Judy. So, L.A. wins that one. Uh, Oh, come on. Have you seen Judge Judy? A lot funnier than this show. All right. L.A. has Hollywood. New York has Holly Schneiderman. So, uh... So no one seemed to care about that one. Yep, Hollywood and Holly Schneiderman. Yeah, we'll find that writer and get him out of here. Uh... Whoever that writer is, that guy has to pay. Uh, <laughs> New York has sexual predators that grab you on the subway. L.A. has Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, uh, <laughs> that is not very good, Brian. <laughs> you can pay for that joke, Brian. 
Uh, yeah, so New York wins that one. Uh, <laughs> Los Angeles has the La Brea tar pits, which have preserved fossilized remains in an oily primordial goo. New York has Abe Vigoda with his hands stuck in a newspaper dispenser, so New York wins. And I'm still jogging two miles a day. Okay, nothing beats Abe Vigoda. New York wins. We'll take a break. Matthew Broderick's here. Stick around. We got the show. Nice. Who's C.C. Ryder? See what you have done.